Steve Dotto here. Now, a lot of people are thinking about disengaging from the whole Facebook world, at least for a period of time. They're a little bit concerned about the amount of time they're spending, or they're concerned about privacy. They're concerned about a whole bunch of different things, but basically they want to step away. But they're not willing to delete their account and say, I'm, I'm getting rid of everything, because you might want to come back. And typically speaking, if you've been on Facebook for any period of time, you've built up quite a volume of data within your Facebook account. You've got friends, you've got pictures, you've got comments. You might want to not want to get rid of all of that kind of stuff. So there is fortunately a way to just suspend your account, to deactivate it for a period of time, allowing you to come back and reactivate it. Now let me show you how to do that because like everything on Facebook, it is less than intuitive. Now where you go is you actually go in the right hand side of your Facebook window up here. You go into your account settings. Now I Originally, when I was just poking around, I tried to go into the privacy settings because I thought that's where it was going to be and I would find it within there, but I was wrong. And if you go there, you'll be wrong as well. Instead, you go into the account settings. There you find a security tab over here on the left-hand side. You click on that security tab and right down here, it's really easy to find actually once you, once you know where to look, is deactivate your account. You click on there and along with a rather kind of questionable icon of a it looks like an Ottawa senator urinating on the Toronto Maple Leafs logo. I'm sure all our friends in Toronto love that. I don't know quite why that's up there. Having said that, we, they ask you what the reason is because they, they want to know. Of course, Facebook is all about gathering as much data on us as you can. So you can tell them that if you choose. And then basically once you click on confirm here, then your account is suspended. And people, you're not going to be getting friend requests. You're not going to be getting all that kind of stuff. People aren't going to find you when they come looking for you on Facebook, which is one of the biggest reasons to suspend your account. You're not too sure if you want people connecting with you. Then if at some point you decide that you want to re-engage with Facebook, you can go in and reactivate your account and all of your photos, all of the data that you've already collected within Facebook and all of your friends that you've already collected as well are still there. Just as a quick adjunct to the video on disabling your account on Facebook. This was actually an account that I wanted to disable because it was a demo account that I've set up that I use when I'm doing little videos like this and I just don't want people to think this is my real account because I use my real name. So sometimes friends are trying to connect with me. So I actually do want to deactivate it. Here's an interesting little thing that happened when I went to deactivate it. I don't think it's any of Facebook's business why I want to deactivate. It's none of their darn business. So I just said other because I had to check something in this area here. I click confirm and of course they asked me for my password to confirm that it's who I am. And look at this, when I go to deactivate it, they say, please select a reason for deactivating. If you choose other, please explain your reason. Well, it's none of your damn business. Is it? Really, Mark? Take a hike. I'm going to put because. Let's see if that works. Because I want to deactivate it. Let's see if that works. Okay, security check, which is fair. I don't mind it, although, although I do have trouble with the, uh, I do sometimes have trouble making these things work. Might as well see this through to the bitter end now, shall we? Oh, it didn't match it. What a surprise. I think that's a Q there. This is fascinating video, isn't it? Ah, my account's been deactivated. To reactivate it, log on, use your old email, as a password and password and I'll be able to use the site like I used to and we will ask you lots of personal questions again thank you and good night